Good evening, setters. This today is Wednesday, the 30th of March. So we're just going to give you a quick market update. Let me switch off my WhatsApp. Um, yes, as you can see, I got in the dollar yen tray yesterday, last night. I posted on the group. This is how, you know, if you know how to trade, you should be able to follow my tray. I took a retest in this area. So you can see bang on excellent trade. You should be able to now, if you want to, you can protect your entry by moving your stop loss down. But I'm happy to leave it for the moment. Okay, plan forward. I might scale in a bit more uh, when it break this sort of a bearish flag, smaller time frame, and take it down to here because that's a gap to fill for dollar yen. So that's the plan for dollar yen. So I'm not, you know, you sh it, sh it will be a break even or a winning trade. So let's see how it goes. I tend to stay very patient when I uh, have a winning trade. I'll go to the indices to show you what I see from the market for the moment. Indice is when on a Mm, bullish run yes at the beginning of here is very bullish okay the early part of the phase one all through this area here is not nice it looks quite bullish in daily but if you drop down to hourly you will see it's just kind of hanging there so it's not Price action is not great, you know, it's not very powerful. You can clearly see it's slowing down. I can draw an arrow. So we probably expect a pullback very soon because this has gone on, this mini uptrend has gone on longer than my liking. And when it doesn't have a retracement for a long period of time, the retracement tend to be a lot stronger. So it would not surprise me this level 4,400 area wouldn't hold and come back to test the low around this area again. But we shall see. We will monitor that anyway. Okay. So that's S&P 500. I'll quickly show you Dow Jones and NASDAQ as well. It's quite similar. You can see out from the hourly chart is you know here is strong went a bit sideways here now it just kind of hangs there right like i said the longer it hangs on this area the harder the retracement shall be we shall see about that anyway but i'm not taking any trade i don't sell us in the seat so i won't sell it right moving on to nasdaq it's some similar things anyway really honestly this from daily looks bullish but it's only the early part was bullish through here last week is just hanging in there so I, I don't like the price action i didn't get involved last week to to buy it so now you can see again it's trying to go sideways a bit but it's quite stubborn it tends to be anyway right so but if this break we may see a aggressive acceleration down in the next coming day so i'm expecting a pullback how aggressive that will be we shall monitor it again so what's my plan then really uh still want to buy yen i mean you can see dollar yen clearly is uh you know showing a pattern in that is heavily oversold on yen interestingly I am looking at Aussie, Australian dollar. You can potentially see this is at a resistance right now. Okay. A lot of interaction in this box right here. So it wouldn't surprise me that I have a retracement back to at least around this other area, 74 anyway. Okay. But I don't really want to sell the australian dollar against the us dollar because i'm already selling us dollar against the japanese yen so aussie yen actually is on my list to sell Ooh, i've got so many charts 
it's gonna make it bigger boom all right so let's go to the daily first of course it's been extremely bullish but you can see price action is becoming a bit exhaustive now right through here okay so it's a reversal trade if you are not a reversal trader then you should stay away from it but four hours actually have a trend now all right has a mini trend so let me show you right but lower high lower low lower high lower low so we do have a mini downtrend on four hours so i'm happy to to trade the four hours trend back to maybe around this 90 89 90 area so that's the plan for uh, aussie yen dropping down to your hourly you will see a very clear head and shoulder pattern so obviously price has gone back to my blue blocks area i i didn't take it i took dollar yen so now you can see shoulder head a big right shoulder what i'm waiting for is price break here and then tomorrow or later tonight my seller limit order through here and then take it long stop loss somewhere around here so a quick two to one trade on aussie yen is top of my list do let me know what you, is your plan. What are you looking to trade? If you have any question, you are inside our community. Tag me, ask question. We'll see what we can do for you. Okay, happy trading and see you around in the next coming days.